Hi, again, I'm Bob Kovic Campbell, and welcome back to the second part of the African University Scholarship Initiative Training. I uh, just wanted to share that there are some people here with me in the room, and we've had some great ideas. One thing is that as you're doing one of these presentations, if you just take a stack of index cards and hand them out or have them available so that people can write down questions. As I said in the intro piece um, concerning what it means to be a speaker, if you could have people write questions down that you're not sure about answering, we'll be sure that you get those answers in a timely fashion. So I really want to emphasize it's important that we answer as many questions as we can about African University. We also intend to have a, an FAQ, a Frequently Asked Questions Guide, up with this training so that you can hear some of the questions that were asked here tonight. And we hope that that's helpful to you as well. Now I'd like to get into this particular presentation. As I said, this is my version of an Africa University uh, scholarship endowment presentation for you to share and to have. If you'd like to use it just the way it is, you're more than welcome to do that. If you'd like to change it, make it a little more simple, a little more complicated, whatever you'd like to do, we would like for you to have this and to use it as you can. This is the symbol of Africa University. It is the acacia tree and it is a sign we feel of, of Africa of, of strong and good growth in Africa and the potential that Africa University has, not only for the continent of Africa, but for the whole world. And that's what we seek. That's what we see in Africa University. And that's what we really want to share with you. It also says on this slide that Africa University is a United Methodist institution. This is something created by the United Methodist Church. This is some, an institution that is growing and educating people in Africa because of the work of the United Methodist Church around the world. This is something that you have been part of as the people called United Methodist for the last 20 years and we're so excited about it. I, I, I hope you can see what this is. This is a picture of the world. I happen to really like maps and I really like this one because this is an image of the world that's based on a photograph of the world and they worked it out so that there was no cloud cover on this photograph. If you notice a picture of the United States right here, if you look at it and a picture of the continent of Africa, they're, they're not too different in size, are they? You'd think the United States is about the same size as the continent of Africa. Maybe a little smaller, but certainly not that much smaller. This is called a Mercator projection map. And if you notice, some of the squares are different sizes. Uh, a person by the name of Peterson a few years back had trouble with the way that this map looks. And so they took the same image and they adapted it to what's called a Peterson projection. It looks a little bit different. Now if you look at this projection, this is the appropriate size of Africa as compared to the United States. If you look at the United States on this map, if I can find my arrow here, it's this big, but look at the size of Africa. Suddenly it's far larger. Africa is a huge continent full of potential, full of resource, full of what I think can help us throughout the world to make peace, to live lives of hope and joy, and to find answers to questions that we just need to. And this is one of the goals of Africa University. But we need to remember how large Africa is. If, if we were to say, Think about how big Africa was, what would you think? Here's a comparative map of Africa. You've probably seen this before. This is all the countries in Africa. Africa University, by the way, is located right down here in the country of Zimbabwe. But again, this map, you're not sure how big Africa is. Maybe this will help us a bit. These are the continents of the world superimposed on top of the African continent. 
You can see right here the United States, Eastern Europe, Mexico, China, Western Europe, India, Iberia, that means Spain and Portugal, and the island of Japan would all fit easily on the African continent. If you want to see how each of the continents fits, take a look at this. The United States itself would be swallowed by Saharan Africa, not even getting down into sub-Saharan Africa. India, not even close. China is swallowed by the size of Africa. The fact that all of them could fit at once shows us just how massive of a continent Africa is. We need to realize how large Africa is and what potential it truly brings to the world. Now I told you that the continent of Africa was found, the continent of Africa, the uh, country of Zimbabwe is where Africa University is found. And a lot of people wonder where in Zimbabwe is Africa University. Harare is the capital of Zimbabwe, and if you were ever to fly to, Harare, uh, to Zimbabwe, you'd fly into Harare. Africa University is located here, just a little bit west of Mutare, at a place called Old Mutare, which is actually the original Methodist ministry site, the original Methodist mission site in Old Mutare. It is where a bishop looked out across a field and saw a place and said, this is a field of dreams. This is where something really special is going to happen for the church. And that bishop was right. Because writing back in the 1880s, that bishop was foreseeing the coming of Africa University. So it's located right here. Just west of the city of Mutare, which was actually moved for the ease of rail traffic. Old Mutare was located up in the mountains. I want you to be familiar with a particular publication that you can get off the AU website we'll be distributing here tonight. It's called AU at a Glance. And like most universities, you can find these on most university websites. These are just easily stated facts that anybody can know about Africa University. For instance, it's located 11 miles outside of the country's fourth largest city, which is Mutare, in the eastern highlands area of Zimbabwe. The campus of red brick buildings under tile is nestled in, in a river valley across the road from Old Mutare United Methodist Church Mission, which was established in 1897. You'll find all kinds of facts on this, and I hope that you share many of them. More importantly about Africa University, that it's a pan-African institution. Remember when I had all those different countries of Africa up there? People from every country in Africa can come and study at Africa University. There are no restrictions on anyone from Africa studying at Africa University. That's really important. In an age when we've heard stories about ethnic cleansing, when we've heard stories about hate between peoples, Africa University is a place for people to come together to live and work and learn together. Africa University was founded by the General Conference of the United Methodist Church. Your United Methodist Church founded Africa University in 1988. I don't know how old or young you are, but that's a whole lot younger than me and a whole lot younger than most of the people who are sitting in the room with me right now. Africa University is 20 years young in sharing its vision and its life with the people of Africa. It opened for classes 20 years ago in 1992. Even though it was founded in 1988, it did take a little startup time to get things going. I visited there in 1982 when it was just some, some farm buildings that had been set up. The library had maybe 40, 50 books in it. 
Um, but there was great potential and everyone saw it. And we all sought to work hard to establish this university. It was great to be there in 1992. I'd love to see what it looks like right now. It's based on a British model of education. And what that means is, is that the students and the teachers together make up the faculty. It means that they work together towards instructing each other. That faculty see themselves, that, that teachers and students together see themselves as lifetime learners in their field, sharing together very powerfully. All buildings at Africa University at this very moment are debt free. Although there is some debt that has been incurred through a business project to encourage economic development for the people of Africa. It's a slight debt and not very much one, so I didn't want to mislead you to say that there was absolutely no debt. But the main thing to hear here is that all the buildings are debt free, no mortgages. In fact, Every building in Africa University was paid for before it was built. I found this on the Africa University website. Because what does it mean for a university to have higher education on the continent of Africa? And here's the best description I could find. As an institution that's pan-African by design, Africa University enrolls students from throughout the continent without regard to race, ethnicity, social class, or political or religious affiliation. At AU, you'll get an education that promotes excellence and focuses on innovation and service that improves the quality of life of African communities. I would only add to that to say, it just doesn't improve the quality of life for African communities. It improves the quality of life worldwide. The schools at AU are making a difference, and these are the different schools at Africa University in no particular order. Agricultural and natural resources. Agriculture professors who are teaching the future farmers and agribusiness leaders in Africa how to do agriculture and natural resource development right. Health sciences. What an exciting time to be about health science on the continent of Africa. Theology. Training pastors and leaders for the United Methodist Church and for other churches on the continent of Africa. Education teaching teachers and principals and school administrators for different ways of learning and teaching throughout the continent. Humanities and social sciences, basic education, basic study of social sciences. Institute of Peace, Leadership and Governance. After all the years of strife and turmoil in many countries of Africa, including South Sudan, Africa University has been there, helping to create peace through leadership, through diplomacy, and through caring for others' needs. And the School of Management and Administration, let's face it, it doesn't get any more basic than this. Without ethical and caring business people to really create wealth and to create a climate for business to develop. This is a way that Africa can move forward with our help and our assistance. What is Africa University doing? Let's just talk about a few things right now. Africa University's strong reputation is based on the relevance and impact of its efforts. It's people working together that make AU work so well. Teaching at Africa University emphasizes the practical applications of knowledge to alleviate poverty, to build peace and stability and drive development. Students get their hands dirty during field practicals and test their ideas in the workplace through internships and industrial attachments. All of Africa, all of Zimbabwe becomes the university. 
faculty members enrich lectures with their know-how and diverse experiences. The members of the faculty are people who have already served well in their fields, and that's what makes this so exciting. Small classes and close-knit campus community allow for meaningful interaction between students and with faculty and staff. Ultimately, the students leave the university skilled in their fields and with a desire to contribute to their nations and their continent. Now, it's the registrar who made that statement. How many registrars who keep track of all the classes that, student take, that students take can really speak that clearly about what the goal of the university is? That's the power of Africa University. Now, Africa University is 20 years old. It's been developing over those years. And we're just so excited about what some of the outcomes from AU are. And I'd like to share just a few of those with you. 4,000 graduates, 4,000 graduates over 20 years working across the continent of Africa in critical positions in church, government, business, and society. There's a program I want to tell you about. It's called Fairfield Buddies. And this is a program we all hear about the warfare in Africa and children becoming um, soldiers and this type of thing. Fairfield Buddies is a program that has been developed with the help of Africa University that offers psychosocial support to orphans who are seeking to find themselves growing beyond those possibilities of going to war or living in situations of war. The agriculture faculty introduces has introduced more nutritious and sustainable crops for drought resistance, for flooding resistance, and for pest control that makes sense. When we talk about a world where we want more sustainable agriculture, they're doing this in Africa now. That can help us even in the United States. What is Africa University doing? Building opportunities on student talent, or BOOST, and Students in Free Enterprise, or SIF, engages women's groups and farmers in basic business skills. Not everybody has that education. Not everyone has the opportunity to grow in that way. These, this is an outreach from Africa University into the community. In health, there's some basic initiatives. Think about med lab techs, people who process blood draws, who analyze um, all kinds of things in terms of health. We need basic training for those med lab techs. This is one thing that Africa University is contributing. Supporting those with HIV AIDS, not only treating them for disease, but giving them life skills teaching them how they need to eat right, how they need to live right, and then what can they do to make an income? It's not enough just to survive HIV AIDS, it's something else to have a life to live following HIV AIDS. And this is what Africa University is contributing to the overall. Church growth and development, we're out there with pastors who are creating new congregations in Angola, in the Democratic Republic of Congo, in Liberia, in Mozambique, to name a few. But we're also helping in conflict-affected areas. The church is being the church, reaching out with the love of Christ to a world that needs to hear it through Africa University. And then the Institute of Peace, Leadership, and Governance who brought together leaders for a forum on peace and development in the Republic of South Sudan, which is Africa's newest nation. Africa University was there providing leadership, providing all kinds of ways for persons to engage in a peace process. Where's it going? Enrollment at this point is at an all-time high. It started with 40 students in March of 1992. Currently enrolled 1,634 students, 42% higher than the 2010-2011 academic year for 2011-2012. 23 countries in Africa are represented. 
Zimbabwe has the largest contingent to Africa University. The Democratic Republic of Congo has 154 students. Angola has 104. They're number two and three in providing the most number of students. 48% of the student body is female. Africa University truly is an equal opportunity place for both women and men on the African continent. And that's something that we need to remember. This is our ministry as the Upper New York Conference. To be global neighbors, to help students achieve their academic work for the good of themselves, their communities, their nations, for Africa, and for the world. So what does AU need? It's doing all this great work. What does AU need? It needs our support through the Upper New York Africa University Scholarship Endowment. Now, all four conferences that came together to form the new Upper New York Conference had support for Africa University in one way or another. All kinds of people were involved, and everyone had a way of contributing. This fund, though, the Africa University Scholarship Endowment, was established as a missional cornerstone of the Upper New York Conference at its second session in 2011. It is a four-year initiative that will go till 2014 at annual conference when we seek to do what it does. Now, what it's seeking to do is to raise a million dollars so that we can support scholarships for Africa University. And I just wanted to do a compare and contrast if we could. I found these figures off of the College Board site. That's the U.S. site that, that looks at all things about uh, higher education in the United States. So the first thing I found on this site was what the average tuition fees, room and board, total charges, average were. So it, if you went to a two-year school in the United States, the average amount charged without room and board, and this is the only one that doesn't have room and board because most two-year colleges, most community colleges don't have dorms, would be $2,963. If you were to go to a public four-year school and stay on campus, $17,131. A public four-year as an out-of-state student, $29,657. You know where I'm going with the next one? Private four-year, non-profit, $38,589. You have to remember that's the average. So there's a whole lot above and a whole lot below. That's if you take all the numbers and crunch them together. That does include room and board for everything but the two-year colleges. So what does it cost to go to Africa University for a year? Tuition, room, and board, and fees? $5,400. What is more with sustained investment of an endowment we believe that the scholarships that we're donating will cover all tuition, room, board, and fees will be covered in perpetuity. Now, I don't know how long forever is, but as long as people are able to go to Africa University, these scholarships will be available as a student needs them. Our goal as an annual conference across 937 churches is to raise one million dollars. One million dollars. Sounds like a lot of money, but not when you think across 937 churches. This would provide eight scholarships in perpetuity. Now one of the conversations we had here was, well, how does that work? Does that mean we do one one year and one the next year? We don't know. We would have to trust the administration of Africa University to administer these scholarships the way that they saw best. 
And I think we can trust that. Our goal is to seek to raise them so that students attending African University can truly have this opportunity to attend this first class university in Africa. I believe that this project is something that everyone can be part of. There's no one that can't be part of this. It doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter if you just give one dollar or if you give one thousand dollars or ten thousand dollars. You are a part of this program. Doesn't matter the size of the gift. What matters is that everyone participates. Every gift from every person matters. So the question for you is, will you be a part? Will you be a part of what's happening at African University? Now, there's different ways to give. We encourage everyone to participate in the scholarship fund, no matter how small the gift, how large the gift. You can make a gift online. UNYUMC.org. You can give through your local church, you know, an African AU scholarship fund on all checks. No matter how much you give, every gift is important because we're all in this together. Would you join with me in a prayer for African University? Lord Jesus, grant us the grace that we might partner with the students and faculty of African University, that in sharing in the support of students, your peace and love might be known to Africa and the world. Help us to give boldly to this scholarship initiative to help this university support the men and men who can change the world. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to email them and we will get the answers to you as best we can. Thank you.